How do you decide now that you're a meditation teacher uh, which aspects you keep with you and which, which parts you sort of decide, okay, I want to do a more unique approach or modern approach or postmodern, depending, really, or neo-post, I mean, really depends. <laughs> Neo-squared, actually. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. yeah. Um, every, every spiritual group and every religion has a shadow side, and we're, because humans are in it, you know, and humans get greedy, and humans want to prove themselves. But your question's really like, how do you know what to keep? And that's where it's really um, coming back to our own hearts. It's like you can't follow anything. You can take in um, what seems like beautiful teachings or practices, but we can't abandon ourselves. We have to keep on you know, discriminating with our own hearts and minds. Speaking of discriminating, um, I'm just kidding. I just like, <laughs> I just like to say that. Goodbye. Goodbye.